Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make popcorn boxes in Silhouette Studio. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and welcome to the Eddie Rose Party Designs community where we talk about everything to do with party decorations in Photoshop, in Silhouette Studio, Canva, PicMonkey and soon I will be launching how to create, grow your online business from scratch and of course we talk about so much more other great topics. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so we are in the front section of our Silhouette Studio software. My software might look a little bit different to yours. Um, I'm using the Business Edition software. All right, so if you're new to Silhouette Studio, please feel free to check out the other video tutorials that I have on my channel. They will definitely help you out with the very basic beginner's um, techniques that you need to use in Silhouette Studio. Also feel free to check out my free ebook on how to design and create your own party decorations in Silhouette Studio. Everything will be linked down below so feel free to check that out. Alright, to get started you need the template that I will be using which you can find once again in the link in the description box below the video which will take you to my shop and that is where you can purchase it once you've downloaded your template it will look something like this template here so there's only one file and it is a png file once you've downloaded all we're going to do is we're going to click that and we're going to drag that straight into our folders or our library you could say so let's go in here and click onto our library and I like to save my templates under a folder or a subfolder, if you would call it that, um, templates. And this is where I would save it. So let's just click and drag our folder. Here it is here. And bring it, bring it straight into our library. All right. The next thing I'm going to do now is to, once it's decided to actually do it for me, there it is there is right click and I'm going to open up our folder. Okay, so the canvas size that I'll be using is a portrait size and I'm just going to be doing it in a letter size. So if yours is not the same as mine, all you need to do is click onto page setup. It'll bring up this window. You then click onto your size you want. Mine I'm using is a letter size and orientation is a portrait size. All right. And there is our design. Now it doesn't look like much, but if you actually click and you drag it to the side, all of this here is a transparent background, all right? Um, but this all here is just a standard white box around it. So I'm just going to do this super quick and super easy for you. You can change it and do whatever it is you want to. It's up to you, all right? But just bear in mind that obviously that this part here is what you're going to be folding to glue to the other side of the of the template of the of the um, popcorn box, and the same thing as these bottom ones here are going to be underneath. Okay, so you're not going to really see those, so I wouldn't advise you putting any writing or anything on here or over here. Okay, and don't stress about it because it's um, not going to really see it. Okay, so you would need to obviously print out two of these templates because you need an A and you need a B and you need to obviously glue them together. Okay, so just remember that if you're wanting all four sides to be completely different, then you need to do two templates for designs. Alrighty, so I hope that made sense. So let's first of all bring in our background. So to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to bring in our background. So let's make a square and I am going to click on to it and I'm going to go into my library and I'm going to stick with the same thing I've been doing with all the other templates and that is superior's theme which you will find over here and I am just going to bring in the pretty um, pink polka dots that I had previously which was over here in fact you know what I might actually you know live a little and use this one here and then I'm just going to right click and I'm going to open that then let's go over here and there is our design and let's bring in right click bring to front 
and there is what it's going to look like. So remember, you're only going to pretty much see this part and that part. Okay. So let's once again bring in some other clip parts that we're going to use. I'm going to go with the same ones as before. I'm going to actually bring in her. So right click open. In fact, I should have hit open merge. So I'll actually do that again so you can see what I mean. And let's just close you. All right. So let's go here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge her in there. And then she's there. All right. And then I'm going to bring in one more. Let's bring in. Let's bring in this one here and merge you. Too. All right. So first of all, I'm going to go with her. Now, you obviously don't want to bring it in like that because then when you print it out, it's going to look skewed. So we need to kind of use these lines as our guide. So let's just bring you. And I'm going to bring you right up like that. Okay, so she's going to go there. And then these characters here, I'm going to make those. They're going to pretty much go about there. All right. And then I'm, all I'm going to do now is just add in some wording. So let's go over here. And I am just going to bring in Mr. Stretch because I love that font. And I'm just going to put in, first of all, I'm just going to put in, um, you can put in your child's name. You can put in the age, happy birthday, whatever. I'm just going to put in popcorn because because I can't. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to change the colors of this to, let's make the colors, let's make the colors this, yeah, let's go with that color there, and I'm going to do the same with that. Alright, and then I'm actually going to do an offset around it too, so let's just do an offset. An offset is just a white box that goes around it. And I'm going to make that white. And then what are we going to do next? We're actually going to group that all together. So now it's one layer. Okay, so you always want to remember to group it together. All right, and then I'm just going to pop you there. And whoopsie, just go back onto you. Okay, like that there. And then over here, I'm probably just going to put in her age. So let's just put in um, her age. So I'm going to go with there and I'm going to put in the number six. I am going to drag you higher. We'll make it bigger. And this is going to have the same colors. And then let's do an offset. Of 50 again and make that white and then once again we are obviously going to highlight it and we're going to group it together and in fact let's right click and bring you to the front See how that looks. Let's just bring you. All right, about there. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is right click you and I'm going to bring you back to the front so then it kind of crops out the part that needs to be cropped out. Okay, and then there is my popcorn box, guys. And then I would just obviously highlight everything, group it together, file, and print it out. Okay, the main thing is to obviously group it together so that it's one layer when you print it out. All right, but that that's it, guys. It's so easy to make these um, popcorn boxes, and there's so many different things that you can also make. All right, so but that's just... I just did something super quick and it's probably not my best work, but you get the idea of where I'm going with how you can use these templates. All right, so feel free to check out those other videos that I have made, which I showed you how to make cupcake boxes, thank you tags, 
and uh, what else? Um, and water bottle labels too, okay? And, yeah, give it a go and let me know what you guys think of these templates. Um, let me know in the comment section down below this video. And please do me a favor to also like this video, subscribe, share this with your friends and family, and let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see in the future. Otherwise, take care, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.